Hi everybody. Happy Sunday. I don't know if it's afternoon or morning or nighttime for you, uh, but uh, wherever you are, I hope you are doing well, uh, that you're healthy and that you're safe and you feel insecure. Um, I, uh, I just want to check on you. <laughs> Hi there. Um, uh, how are you? Hi, Raul. Hi, King. How are you? Thanks for saying hello. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm doing all right. Uh, in these strange, strange times, um, just hunkering down. Uh, and trying to stay out of the way of the people who are out and about uh, on the front lines and uh, doing the work that needs to be done to help keep everybody safe. It's lunchtime. <laughs> Hello from India. Uh, hi, Roy and Red and Michael. Uh, Ruben, Choppers, Bruce, um, all of you, thank you for saying hello to me for lifting my heart. That's what you're doing. Um, I, I'd love to ask you uh, where you're from. I see uh, I have a friend in India. Uh, so will you share with me what area of the country, if you're in the United States or if you're in another country, uh, where you're from? I'd love to know that. Southern uh, England. Hi, Ruben. I thank you so much for that. Uh, George, thank you for the super chat. I really appreciate it. It's nice to see you, George. Um, North Carolina. Hi, North Carolina. James. Hi, James. Canada. How cool is that? Hi, Brandon. Virginia. New York City. Michael. Uh, Morocco. Wow. Wow. Brooklyn. I'm, you know, I'm a Brooklyn baby. <laughs> It's really nice to see you all, and um, my heart my heart goes out to the world, to all of you. And I just I wonder how you're holding up. I know that New York City right now, which is where I was born and raised, is dealing with a lot, and there's some really major losses in New York. And um, it's overwhelming to even think about it. I can't really wrap my head around it. Um, but uh, thinking about all of you, Algeria, wow, uh, hi, um, doing okay. You're watching the Dukes and Hazard, right? <laughs> I used to watch that. I'm gonna have to do the reruns. Um, Yeah, all the major cities, because the population density is much higher and people are living closer together. And so uh, this virus spreads so easily and we're learning that more and more. Um, uh, and uh, so now, I don't know if you're doing this or not. I think um, the CDC here in the United States is recommending that people wear um, self-made masks, not purchasing masks, because we want to make sure that the people that are working, that are on the front lines, who need the masks, are not dealing with bigger shortages than they already are. And so I took a bandana and I started playing with how to create a mask to cover my nose and my mouth. And um, so I'm doing that. And it feels a little weird, but, uh, but that's okay, because the idea is, is that by covering my mouth and my nose, I'm protecting my community, uh, my neighbors. Uh, I'm keeping my uh, respiratory droplets to myself and that's the whole purpose of doing that. And so if that helps, I'm in. I don't know if any of you have started doing that or are thinking about doing it. Hello, Italy. Th thank you, Brandon, that's awesome. Tell Spencer I said hi. 
Th thank you, thank you for the prayers. Um, I take all the prayers I can get. Thank you for praying for me, and I do the same thing for you. I, um, you know, I marvel at how uh, miraculous life is. Uh, and as somebody who's involved in fitness and physical fitness my whole life, um, it's easy for me to promote wellness. Um, I think partly because the more I learn about how incredible the human body is, the more uh, in awe I am of it, the more um, I'm more engaged in taking care of my body and sharing that with other people, you know? Health is wealth. What a great, never was there a better uh, statement. Um, you know, think about the fact that the average person, okay, pumps about 2,000 gallons of blood through their body every single day. 2,000 gallons of your blood pumping through your body. That's what your heart does every day on average. Think about that. I mean, think about the incredible machinery that is the human body. Um, and we don't tell it to do that. It's just a sort of this incredible biological system that works. And when I think about things like that, it makes me want to take care of my heart. And so in the mornings I get up and I do a 30, 40, 45 minute walk out in nature. And I am, um, you know, grateful that my heart is pumping all this blood and doing all this work. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? Uh, hey, hey, William. Hi, Chris. Hi, Christopher. Rex. Um, Andy. Thank you for joining me and for uh, subscribing to my channel. Um, I I want to answer a question. I have been to Muscle Beach. Uh, it's a fun place. I've been to the old Muscle Beach and the the new Muscle Beach because there's two. Yeah. Going out for a bike, that's awesome. So today, I'll just share with you and I'd love to know what you're doing, what you're able to do. I don't know if you're on strict lockdown in your country or in your state, wherever you are. Hi, Ken from Germany, nice to see you. Um, today I got up and first thing I did was get dressed and go out for, I went for like a 30, 35 minute walk, uh, brisk walk, and then got back into the house and immediately went into the garage and did a shoulder workout. Um, and that's how I started my day. Good music, cardio, uh, shoulder workout, and then get ready for the rest of my day. So, are you guys doing anything like that? Can you do that? Mark, you're bringing your fitness level up by losing weight. That's great. What are you doing? Uh, if I can ask you what you're doing on the weight loss side. You're staying at home. And Rex, you're doing Bible study and participating in online worship. That's that's amazing. And that's going to be very soothing, too. Exercising once a day, Reuben, and groceries if necessary, right? So I wonder that if you're able to get some exercise, and I know that for some of us, we are in confined spaces and it's very hard to do. If you feel differently after you've done a little bit of exercise, how do you think that affects your mental health? Because I myself feel that um, physical activity really benefits my mental health when I'm stressed out, when I'm worrying about something, when I'm frightened, when I'm pissed off about something, working out, really, really helps my mental health and it helps with my, my problem solving and my clarity. You feel better afterwards. You're going up and down stairs. Stairs are so great. 
Hi, Pascal. Hi, James. Thank you for joining me, all of you. Training at home, but it's not the same. Yeah. It's, it's, not, the tra it's not the same. Training at home um, has its own challenges. Um, and this whole thing is challenging. Um, but there are days when I feel very busy or very distracted and I, I don't know if you're experiencing this where I can't focus. I feel like I'm very distracted and there's things that I wanna do, but I spend too much time on social media being consumed by the news. Is anybody else dealing with that? Yeah. And so what I find is that I have to break out of that and by starting off with a workout, forcing myself to go into the garage, it's a garage, <laughs> to do my workout and I put music on. Um, really, really helps reset me. And I feel more optimistic. Um, I don't know if you experience that. When I work out, I'm more optimistic and I'm a very optimistic person to begin with. I haven't, I read, you read 13 books. That's fantastic. And most, yeah. Yeah, th thank you for sharing, you know, sharing what's going on with you with me. Um, because I know I'm not alone. And uh, I think that when you read these comments, that you realize that you're not alone. Uh, we're all coping. Um, and so that's why I like talking to you because you're a part of my coping mechanism. That thank you. Okay, so I see some really great news here. Um, fitness, Dami has lost 18 pounds since the coronavirus hit. It, that sounds like progress. And you put, okay, Mark is putting ACDC on on concert and to do the workout. I'm all in, I'm all in. Music is a great gift to our, you know, our ears. Music is a great gift. Um, th thank you, James. Um, so I have a question here. Do I know any Indian bodybuilders? Yashmin, yes. I don't know her, but I feel like I know her. Incredible woman bodybuilder. Um, And if, if uh, I just want to say that if I don't see your questions or your comments, please forgive me. I, I watch these and I read these after so that I know what's what's going on. Rolanda, listening to your favorite R&B artist from the early to mid 1990s. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna, it's getting a little bit warm in here. So uh, I've been doing the same thing. So here, I'm born in the 60s, and by the way, uh, my birthday's coming up, so don't forget. <laughs> my birthday's coming up, and I'm going to be 52, and what that means is, is that I was born in 1968, a very good number, mind you, in many ways, and a tumultuous year in many ways. Um, but so I listened to music from, you know, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s. I listened to music from the 50s. I love music, all music. Um, so I've been listening to uh, 70s R&B, soul. I've been listening to 80s. The other night I was in the gym, I was listening to 80s, the top 80s music, and then the 90s. And it's, it just takes you back in time, right? It takes you back, it transports you to a place and a time and people that you were with. And that's what's so awesome about, about listening to old music. Even though, <laughs> no, I don't listen to Justin Bieber. Nothing against Justin Bieber, but I kind of don't listen to his music. 
Uh, also, Darren, you got a birthday coming in on April 5th, April 17th. We're going to have to do a birthday party for you. Um, 82, kid. Okay, so... I love the Rolling Stones. I, I love all kinds of music. I was, uh, luckily, luckily I was exposed to music when I was growing up. My mother used to put records on in the house every Saturday and she would clean the house because that was her cleaning day. And then I used to watch, uh, some of you might not know what I'm talking about here. I used to watch Soul Train. And I love that because of the dancers and the music. And um, so music's a big part of my of my upbringing and you know the older I got the more I got into different types of music but I love all music including salsa music because I am Puerto Rican <laughs> Soul Train yeah who knows Soul Train <laughs> April 16th oh wow you're gonna be the big 4-0 you're just a pup Jared, you're just a pup. 40, you haven't even reached the halfway mark of your life yet. Trust me when I tell you, we're going to reach a time where we're, we're going to we're gonna be 100 years old. We're, we're living longer, which is another reason why we need to strength train, because we're living longer. Our life expectancy, once we get past this virus, is up to 100 years old, right? If you think about previous generations, you know, 70s was a good long life. I have friends who are 94 years old, 93 years old, and they're still working and they're still doing things. And so it's so important for us to take care of our bodies and our minds because we're living longer and the body has to last you, right? I'm getting on my soapbox. Yes, I am. I am the fitness bully. Yes, I am. But with love. So 65, there you're gonna, you, you plan on living past 100. There you go. <laughs> but here's the thing about living longer, right? What's the point of living longer if you can't do things, if you're not independent? So that's why strength training is super important. You wanna keep the skeletal muscle alive so that you can do things. Right? Uh, yes, and you're a fitness bully too? Right on. So, <laughs> so Rex, you're going to be 37. So much good time ahead. So, okay, so I have a question here related to movies. Okay, so I've been watching, um, not a movie, but I've been watching, uh, Westworld, Westworld on Amazon, uh, which is really interesting because it's sci-fi and it talks about AI and it talks about technology and it, it's, uh, it's a very interesting commentary on uh, artificial intelligence and uh, social media and a variety of different things. So I highly recommend it. It's interesting. Okay, fitness. So you have an awesome family. It sounds like I do too. I have an amazing family. You have wonderful family and friends. What a blessing that is. But you work out and you take care of yourself and that's important. That's super important. Okay. Seen first, very clever pot. Yeah, so you okay, Mark, you're watching uh, Westworld too? Sorry, I didn't see. I'm not, I'm not so I'm sorry if I'm not catching all your comments, um, but I do want to thank you so much for talking to me and helping me uh, spend a little bit of time. Um, connecting 
Uh, I super duper appreciate that. Uh, if I don't see your, your questions, please leave me a comment in the comment section after this goes live because then I can communicate with you more and I can answer your questions easier, okay? So subscribe, like, 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 and um, leave me a comment and then I can continue my communications with you personally. So the calf workout. I'm gonna do another abdominal core calf workout combination this week. I'm not sure what day and then, and then that will be posted, okay? Thank you for asking me, Chris. I appreciate that. Hi. Jeremy, <laughs> so, um, so yeah, so to cope with the separation, the workout, the walk, communication, um, reading for sure, uh, and projects at home. That's what I'm doing. Tai Chi, um, that, that sounds great. Uh, that sounds really, really great. Hi, Fast Wheels. Okay, so, so thank you for the recommendations on what to see. So Ruben, you're talking about the Uncle Guy Richie. I don't know what that is. Um, but I'm gonna look into that. Thank you for sharing that. So Bruce, yes, I have seen Arnold with Whiskey and Lulu, and um, I follow I follow Arnold. He's such a great um, representative, um, and I love Whiskey and Lulu. It, it makes me want to go buy my own Whiskey and Lulu. Uh, so yes, if any of you. Uh, don't follow Arnold Schwarzenegger. I recommend you do because he has two donkeys uh, who he works out with <laughs> sometimes. Um, and he's doing really great stuff on social media. So I highly recommend you take a look at what he's doing and go check out Whiskey and Lulu. Thank you for reminding me of that, Bruce. It's spectacular. I mean, it's just, it, this is what great leadership looks like. His public service announcements about staying home and washing your hands and extras. This is exactly what the kind of great leadership we need. And this is just at one level. But um, yes, and fun and very charming and heartwarming. Taekwondo. I think that's a great idea. And you know what? So thank you for that, Rolando. I'm thinking about... Okay, so... Um, how many of you remember, uh, oh no, I just lost it. Patience Grasshopper. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> I, sometimes, you know, like sometimes it goes in and then it goes right back out and I lose it. You know? <laughs> Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, boxing, those, those are all great things that I've never done, I would love to try. But first I have to make sure my foot is okay. Andy, uh, wow. I'm not really sure I, I know what, but what area are you in, Andy? David Carradine, yes. Thank you for that, David Carradine. It was a TV show, yes. Kung Fu, yes. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you, all of you. So, the reason I mention that is because I'm thinking about martial arts. Some of you are talking about Krav Maga, uh, Taekwondo, um, Tai Chi. These are all great disciplines. Um, and... Uh, I, you know, I'm thinking about what can I do different because I'm this I'm challenged by the fact that I don't have my gym, but there's an opportunity there, right? So you can do things differently and think differently. Now, 
stick with me for a second here. When I was growing up and I had a question about something, my father always used to tell me, go get the encyclopedia, look it up and find the answer. And so I was a kid who came up in an era where the encyclopedia was a resource for information related to all things, right? Today, we have Google, we have, you know, search engines, uh, Safari, where we can look things up and we can get answers and even instructions. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to find some fun, interesting uh, workouts that I wouldn't normally do. And I'm going to figure out how to take this challenging situation and make it work for me. And I think that you should consider that too. And if you find something interesting, share it with me, please. Ah, so I've got, okay, I've got superheroes in the room. <laughs> Brock, I love you. I can't wait to see you. Margo. Hi, Margo. Hi, Brock. Hi, Robin. Hi, Christina. My cousin, Christina. Oh, my God. I hope, I hope you're all uh, well, healthy, feel safe, and feel secure, all of you. Um, You love how uh, a native Brooklynite can never lose their accent. <laughs> when I'm with my family from Brooklyn or my mom here in Florida, uh, I go absolutely back home and I am absolutely Brooklyn. I think they call that adaptation. I don't know. <laughs> but um, so, yeah, so. Uh, learning new things or so we're forced to think about things differently right um why not and have fun with it too find a way to take the challenges of this situation and these circumstances we're trapped in a way we're stuck but how do we take that and be innovative ourselves and find new things to do to keep us up, um, to keep each other up. That's what I'm doing. That's part of why I'm talking to you now because I'm, you're giving me really great ideas and I appreciate that. Um, and if you're into it, I will share what I do and I'm not gonna take myself too seriously because I, most of the time I don't know what I'm doing and I'm just figuring it out. And what occurs to me about life, right, is that um, we're figuring it out all the time. Shit's happening, shit's changing, you make plans, things don't go your way, and then you gotta make a new plan because uh, you can't give up. That goes against nature. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna see about some martial arts learning and uh, try to have fun uh, and try to grow out of the challenges that we're facing. Use a box of videotapes as weights. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Meditation. Okay, so there's a great question. Am I currently reading any books? Okay, so the answer is yes. Um, one of the books that I read, uh, recently read, uh, hang on a second, let me show you this book. Okay, so one of the books, I'm reading a couple of books related to health and wellness because it's, of course, a topic I'm fascinated by, and, and also aging, 
partly. So this book was actually published about 20 some odd years ago and it's called Strong Women Stay Young. Can you see that? Let me see, Strong Women Stay Young. I'll share this with you in, uh, in the comments. And what this, bo this book has taught me uh, more about what I already know is that strength training is crucial for anti-aging and health. Strong women stay young. But that's true for men too, because as we age, our muscle atrophies, the muscle that control all of our movement, atrophies, it shrinks, right? And then our skeletal system uh, is not protected. We lose mobility, we lose flexibility, we lose circulation, we lose independence. That's what happens with aging. But if we strength train and we keep fresh blood and keep those muscle fibers vibrant, then we slow down the aging process and the muscle doesn't atrophy at an accelerated rate the way it normally does through the aging process. We can slow that down and we stay strong and vibrant. And that's part of what this book talks about. It goes a little bit clinical, but it's really easy to read and it's a great book to read. So I'm gonna share that with you. Thank you for asking me the question about what I'm reading. So there you have it. Does that sound interesting? Age is age. I'm aging every single day. I'm aging every minute. Yes, I am. But I'm going to age as well as I possibly can. I'm going to participate in the quality of the aging that I'm doing. I'm going to help myself. I'm going to be an active participant in how I age. I'm not just going to give up. Right? And that starts through education. I, I, I embrace my aging. I'm going to be 52 May 1st, so write it down because my birthday's coming up. And um, I'd like a happy birthday wish, please. <laughs> so aging is not a bad thing. It's a part of nature and life. It's a beautiful thing. As we age, hopefully we get wiser. It's not always true, but hopefully. Right? So that's why I tell you, I'm 51, almost 52. I'm like, it's ticking away. I'm gonna be 52 in like three weeks. And I'm gonna do it like a champ. I'm gonna age like a champ, right? Any other 50 year olds in here? Anybody? Who else is 50 year? 50 up, raise your hands. Okay, so that's a 52-year-old bicep. That's a 52-year-old bicep. Those are 52-year-old delts. 69, okay, you're just like me. That 30-year-old, okay. Those are 52-year-old triceps. Here, here, here. Okay, and let's see. 52-year-old delts and back. Right? Not bad for a 52-year-old, huh? <laughs> 45, 65, come on. All right, so here's the deal, right? People act like, sometimes people act like aging is such a terrible thing. It's a beautiful thing, right? It's a part of life's phases. You know, a big old oak tree is gorgeous. It gives more shade than a young one, right? It's really how you see it. And I see aging as a beautiful thing. I made a choice when I turned 50 years old because people were giving me, like poking at me and they were like, ooh, you're gonna be 50. Ooh, you're getting old. Ooh, 50. I was getting some of that, right? And then I thought, well, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I am, and I feel great. So I just decided I'm gonna embrace my age and I'm not gonna hide it. Some people feel like they have to hide it. I don't wanna hide it. I wanna age up. I'm gonna age up. So that's my plan, and I hope that maybe you think about that too. Hi, Japan! Nice to see you, wow, amazing. How are you doing in Japan? 
Thank you, Tan. Hello from India. Wow, it's just amazing to talk to all of you. Uh, I really want to thank you for talking to me and hanging out with me and listening to me gab. Um, I hope that what I have to share with you is of value to you. Um, and uh, it's just my view. <laughs> uh, you don't even have to agree with me, but like me anyway. <laughs> I love that wild stallion. Um, age is a good thing, right? The best wines. Um, you like a little pep talk back there? Yeah. Hey, we all need it. I could use a little pep talk too, and I get a lot of energy from you. So I really, really, really want to thank you for giving me your time and your attention, for telling me where you're from and what you're dealing with. Um, I'm encouraged, I don't feel alone, um, and I know that, you know, we lift each other up. Uh, sometimes we put each other down, that's not the way I roll. Um, it's, it's all about lifting, lifting weights and lifting each other. That's my motto, we lift weights and we lift each other. Those are the two things that I wanna share with you. So, I, I don't want to take up any more of your time. I want to thank you for hanging out with me. Stronger together than we are apart, indeed. Even when we are apart, we're still stronger together. Um, thank you for your time. I'm gonna read your comments because I, I, you know, I see so many great things coming through that I can't, I can't stay on top of it all. Um, so if I miss your comments, I will try to address them. If you leave a comment in the comment section after this goes live, um, it'll be easier for me to be able to communicate with you directly. Um, subscribe to my channel, please. I could use your support and would appreciate it very much. Um, and uh, like me, uh, thumbs up. <laughs> I appreciate that. And um, I look forward to talking to you all again next week. Um, and I hope you will uh, be safe this week, stay healthy, and I hope that you feel secure too. Hey, Mayor, nice to see you. I hope you feel secure. Uh, I know a lot of things are happening in this world and um, it's tricky. It's all really tricky, but, uh, but we're really all in this together and we really all have to figure this out together. Uh, we all have a role to play, clearly. Um, and uh, everybody takes care and we'll get through this. That's right. That's exactly right. We will prevail. We stay busy. We stay focused. We take care. We do our part as individuals and collectively, we will move this forward. We'll move you know, everything forward. We have to start by stopping the virus. Staying home helps that. And then we can start working on everything else, the economy, all the things that are being affected by this situation. We have to start by first stopping this virus. And then we can tackle all the other problems. And we'll do, it. We'll do that together. I really believe that. The cooperation is going to be essential. I love you guys and dolls. Thank you for joining me. Um, stay well and stay pumped. Asia. Thank you. Take care.